Thank you so much to EA for allowing me to sit down with the devs ahead of the launch of season 20 of Apex Legends. Five years into this game, here we are. I think the most important aspect of the game that we have to see changes to in season 20 is the rank system. I think ranked is the most important part of all of Apex. It's the thing that people makes people want to play the game, it's the biggest appeal, and it's been rough the past couple of years how often we've changed the rank system. Sometimes it's been really good, <clears throat> season 13, split one specifically. Sometimes it's been really rough. The devs themselves understand how tough like season 17 was uh, with everybody being masters and it being way too easy to rank. This past season of season 19 was not my favorite season of ranked as well. It's been rough. It's been rough, especially as a streamer and a content creator. It's hard to continue playing ranked forever and ever and ever and ever when it just kind of gets boring when there's no splits. But that is changing in season 20. The entire rank system is getting a full revamp in season 20. And um, I know we've heard this before, but it seems like from my understanding, talking with the devs, a spot that we really, really, really have all been begging to go to. So at the beginning of the entire thing, the devs spoke specifically about trust and accessibility. Like that's their motto for the season 20 ranked system. They spoke specifically about being clear, more clear on the scoring system and how it hasn't really been clear in the past. I've got a ton of questions you guys see all the time on Twitter. I see it on my in my Twitch chat. I don't understand why my silver buddy got this much LP and I'm silver and I got this much LP, which is way less than what they got, but I did more kills. This whole system, it was super, super, super unclear. They wanna change that completely. And with that clarity, at the end of the games, we do have a brand new match summary screen that they have completely revamped to give us the details of how we got our points. But the question is, how do we gain those points? How is the game played? Number one, my personal wish list. Same way we had for so long, splits are back, allowing us to reset our rank in the middle of the season, which stops the boring monotony that is playing one split for an entire season. It takes way too long. It's just, there's no fun in the race. It just feels like a lull. It kind of draws the game out. I know a lot of you guys, silver players, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you get to re hit that certain rank or whatever you feel comfortable doing and then have the reset or maybe have to rush and try to make sure you get that rank that you want to get before the end of the split, which does allow for a higher level of competition and people to care about every single one of their games. At the beginning of the season, everyone is starting at one RP. Yes, I said RP and not LP. I'll get to that in a second. There is no longer provisional matches. Placements do not exist anymore. Everyone is starting from the same spot. The devs did mention that good players, higher tier players will advance faster through the lower ranks, kind of like we've seen in the past. There is also no longer a hidden MMR system to base your rank off of. It is now how it used to be, your rank is your rank. If I'm in a lobby and I'm a super high skilled player and I'm in a lobby with somebody else who's not a super high skilled player, but we're the same rank, rank, we're both, let's say diamond three, we are in the same lobbies regardless of our MMR. I think this is a big, big, big thing. I saw what they were doing with the MMR system, um, but it failed. I'm just gonna keep it honest, it failed. It didn't do us justice the way that we thought it would and it turned the rank system really bad. We had silvers fighting preds. We had people not gaining as much as they were supposed to be gaining because their MMR was too high for the lobbies that they were in and it was just a whole struggling situation. So like I said, RP, not LP. They're getting rid of the ladder point system we had in the past and they're going back to ranked points, RP. The reasoning for that is more clarity in the system. Eliminations are now more rewarding, but placement determines how much that RP of each elimination is worth. You do get RP per elimination that you have in the game, but depending on when you got that elimination in your match will determine how much RP you get. If you want the most out of your RP for each elimination, the eliminations have to come later in the game, therefore enhancing placement and kind of pushing us to want to play for placement. This is a battle royale at the end of the day and the most points should be at the end of the game versus the beginning of the game when the games are competitive it feels like i'm really like trying my hardest that is when i think ranked is at its best and i think most people would agree even if your gold lobbies are really competitive and fun you're having a good time and when you win those games you feel so rewarded for that there's also the returning rp bonus of eliminating players of a higher rank of yourself so say that i'm bronze and i kill a silver player i am going to get more points for that elimination versus killing another bronze player that will be called the challenger bonus when you see it in your recap at the end of the games. There are no penalties though for eliminating ranks lower than you. There's also a brand new bonus coming in rank called the streak bonus. The new streak bonus is for maintaining a streak of top five placements. The longer the streak, the more RP. Now that streak does have a cap on it, so you can't just um, infinitely grind top fives and get a bunch of points. To a certain degree, you will get more points the higher placement you get. And if you have a continuous let's say three or four games of top fives in a row, you're gonna get bonus points for that. That also incentivizes placement, but keep an eye out for those rats. But I will say, you didn't hear from me, but all the changes coming to the crafters in the game and the zone, 
will big time help with our situation with the rat problems. And last but not least, we know that entry costs will return to increasing as your rank goes up. So your negative entry costs when you're gold will look very different than when you're masters, which is a great thing. Every game, again, should have a penalty to it, especially if you're in a higher rank. I think this will also bring a huge balance to the influx of how big the RP gap is at the end of the season. Um, for hitting something like Pred. Season 20 seems to be one of the best rank splits we've had in a long time. I'm very, very, very excited to play it, and I'm hoping that it plays something very similar to what I personally enjoy the best in Season 13, Split 1, of how competitive and how, like, end game -y. End game -y? ALGS end games that we had. I'm hoping to see something very similar to that this season. If you guys want to follow me on my Twitch channel, I will be absolutely grinding my brains out. Split 1 of Season 20, uh, the plan is to hit and hold Pred. I've already got my squad ready to go. So make sure you follow me down below. I do stream every single day. So let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think of all these changes coming to season 20 of Apex Rank? Are you going to rank again? Are you excited? I know we've been burnt a bunch of times. I know lately it's been a struggle in the Apex community to have the drive to play all the time. But these seem like really, really great changes. So let me know what you guys are going to do next season down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm super excited for season 20. I hope it's really good. I have high hopes. Don't let me down. All father. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.